Aloha y'all, welcome back to Pete's Treasures. Today I went to Garland Road Thrift, one of my favorite places to go. I did something I normally don't do because I usually get distracted by all the knickknacks. I did look at the knickknacks, but then I went to the CD section, something I don't normally do because I don't have the patience or the time. I made sure to spend at least an hour and like 15 minutes scanning. So come see what I handpicked to sell for big bucks on eBay right here on Pete's Treasures. All right, let's get started. I went to Garland Road Thrift yesterday in Dallas, Texas, one of my favorite places, and I went there with the goal of scanning CDs. Um, I watched a webinar from Jason T. Smith, and I'm motivated to buy and sell CDs. I've done it a little bit in the past, but I spent over an hour. So let me show you what I got, and then we'll go through which CDs I handpicked to sell online. Um, also, and I guess I could do this now, I went to the dollar spot in Target. I go there once a year to look for stuff for my classroom. I am a music teacher, so let me just show you a few things that I got. These will be good for sinners once COVID is over with, um, because they're not really going to be doing much getting up and, act, you know, physical activity in my room, at least, because of social distancing. This is $3. It is a uh, Dr. Seuss foam dice so they can roll it and it says do four frog drought four frog jumps anyways I thought those were neat for three dollars each big fan of Pete the cat so are my kids so I got these um special pencils uh Pete the cat pencils six for a dollar so I spent about six dollars these are for bathroom passes gonna um tape them as well I just I go through them a lot I like that they put them around their neck so they don't lose it. Anyways, these are dry erase pockets. These are very handy. A dollar each. These are were a dollar each, little pointers. And I got a bunch of mini erasers, 50 for a dollar. So yeah, not thrifting related, but I thought it was a neat little haul. So I just wanted to show you. And now let's get to, I had one baggie, all of that for a dollar 21. Just little toys like this one is from Lion King. It's not going to go for much online at all because it's 2020 and 2019. So these are going to be prizes for my kids, except I want this one for my little nerd corner. C-3PO. This one is from that movie that came out just as quarantine was going on. Onward. It says funny things like, I, perchance, um, ask me on the morrow. Interesting. I also have this. What do you think, Henry? Hmm. Anyways, uh, this goes with the theme of my school, uh, rockets, and so that's why I got a lot of rocket-themed um, erasers as well. Came with this little roll-on massager. Um, none of this I'm really going to sell. A little Chick-fil-A. Um, I'm going to put this in some of the baby stuff we have to sell. It's a 2001... Uh, Peter was a naughty rabbit. One of the Beatrix Potter, Peter Rabbit things. Actually, it's not Beatrix Potter, I don't think. It just has that look to it. Anyways, that was all $1.21. Um, this was six ninety six, and I know that's a lot, but I absolutely love it. I think this is going to be for me. It is a chicken salad recipe. I love the font. Very mid-century, and um, it's California Pottery which is a good company, very popular. Um, that's pretty high. They were they had high prices yesterday. But you do get rewards, and I'll talk about that at the end. By the way, at the end, I'm going to show you these. Um, this is for me, unless it sells well. I haven't looked it up. Muffy Vanderbear, and it's um, Hit the Road, the Bear Stream Trailer Collection. Um, I love... Airstreams, it's very mid-century, and look at her little clothes, it has a road map, she has her little, her little babushka, not her babushka, that's what my grandma called it, her little bandana, so that her hair stays nice on the trip, 
Um, anyways, that was two ninety two. Got this vintage looking Baylor Bear. Um, I need to check that it works by putting batteries, but it has the applause brand um, tag still on it. It was three ninety three, almost four dollars, and I expect to maybe get about twenty two for it. So still a, not a very good price, but still lucrative. Porky Pig, no. Three Little Pigs, and it's Vintage Disney World, Disneyland. Mm. Okay, it was only $1.41, so I had to pick that up. Um, this kind of looks run-of-the-mill zebra mug, but I looked that up, 1987, obviously it's vintage. It has a little rattle, but there's no chips or flaws or cracks. So this one actually went for $21 plus shipping recently, so... For 66 cents, I had to pick that up. And my brother likes zebras. Now this, I paid a little too much, but let me tell you why. First of all, it's Fitz and Floyd. I would have never guessed that for some reason, because it's kind of different from their style. They always have kind of a Majolica look. But this is very Art Deco. Oh, you can see me, hello. Subscribe, thank you. Um, <laughs> This is like a puffed bird. At first I searched turkey and then pigeon and then it was hard to look up. It is a grouse, like a pigeon grouse or something. Very shiny and um, it reminds me of obsidian, of obsidian, the black um, stone. Anyways, it was $9.99, which $10 is a lot to spend at a thrift store, I think. It is a bookend, um, but I've seen... Pairs of them go for like 60 to 75 so I'm going to list this for about 35 and see what happens. So, remember this channel is about making money, so if you are interested in any of these things, my eBay store is linked down below, and we will be happy to make you a deal. But I just wanted to share what we got. These I see at antique stores. It says Eastland Tex, Texas, Old Rip. I need to look it up more, but it was only 66 cents, and I see these at antique stores for expensive, and I'm like, why? A little horny toad, or a, yeah, I think it's a horny toad. Anyways, I thought that was kind of cool for 66 cents, and I had to get this. It's a brand new Golden Girls game, any way you slice it. It's basically trivia. It was $2.92. And yeah, it looks cute. I don't know if I want to play it or sell it. I think it goes for about 15 so it might be worth it to sell, but I love the Golden Girls. I ordered the Geeky Cheeky mugs, and I can't wait for them to come in, and I will show y'all. Okay, before we get to the CDs, I will talk about this. First of all, it's dirty. Don't judge. We got to clean it. It was half off, so it was a dollar. Now, it looks like it says Edmund something. Tell me in the comments what you think that says. We think it is a clown from The Greatest Show on Earth. I believe that is Barnum and Bailey's, um, which is not around anymore. And it's just a little cute cap. And um, we have quite a bit of circus um, memorabilia, so I was just excited. I've never seen a hat like that. After the CDs, I'm going to fold these out, but let me just tell you about them. They are San Marcos blankets. Always look for these um, <laughs> because they are those large comforter, really thick blankets that are nice quality that people love to have on their beds, especially in the winter. Okay, there's what the tag looks like. This one is, sorry, this one, the tag you can actually see, but I've seen a lot where the tags are like really worn because they've been used a lot. Now, this one was... Um, $14.95, and $15 is a lot to spend on a blanket at a thrift store. But they go for $100, $150, sometimes $80. They're all over the place. This one, you'll see. I'll show it to you. It, but um, it was worth getting at that price to me. Now, the one on the bottom is amazing. It's much bigger, um, and it was actually $25. I know. $40 total on those blankets. But hey, if if we make $80 on each, which would be on the low end, then that's $120 in profit. Now, we would make them pay for shipping, and that would be a lot. Um, so yeah, can't wait to show it to y'all. 
but let's dig into the CDs. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I bought about 34 CDs for $33 because they were 99 cents a piece. Now, when all is said and done with those expensive blankets, I spent $112. But the cool thing is, is it only took me an hour using my uh, eBay scanning app to find this many CDs that I think are worth selling. Not only are they smaller, but they're easy to ship and easy to photograph. So I'm really hoping I have some money right here and it was worth my time. Um, so I'm going to just show them to you. I'm not going to tell you how much I think each one is worth because it's, it varies, okay? And um, I just wanted to show you what kind of CDs will hopefully sell. Mayer Hawthorne, Taylor Swift. This is a 2007 holiday CD. Um, yeah, I think it can sell pretty well. Now, a lot of the jewel cases that are cracked, I can easily replace those, just like this one. Like, this one looks horrible. Gonna replace it. Um, obviously, it's a foreign language, but um, it'll still scan, and it looked worth it to buy. Now, I played this as a kid, Sierra Originals, King's Quest V, and I want to pop it in, but I don't think it'll play. But anyways, it doesn't have the artwork or anything, but it'll sell well. It's funny how you can see my reflection. Le Choristes in Concert. Okay, it's French. Um, this is just one of my favorite Christian artists, Mandisa, is... Um, She's so awesome, and she signed this Christmas album, so I had to get it for 99 cents. When my brother and I used to go to Ditton and go to live shows back in, like, 2006, 2007, to hear bands play, we loved this band called Love Beat. And this is a sealed version of their CD, so it's funny. My brother bought it when we were at the show, but I had to get it since, I don't know, that was just a random find. She also signed another... Um, CD that I like and that I already have so I had to get it because she signed it now I'm not Bridget but thank you Bridget for donating your CDs now this is a local uh, choir which is really really good Turtle Creek Corral and it is sealed I got three different ones and I think I could get maybe ten dollars for each so I'm gonna bundle the three together to hopefully get thirty all right, let's go to the second stack. As seen on TV, it's older from 2001. This one is really cool. Duets. It has like um, chance music and uncommonly written um, notation for music. Um, 1989. I think it can sell well. This is a 1991 story read by Sigourney Weaver, Peach Boy. And it goes well. I think I tried to pick up any CD that goes over $10. I didn't mind that it said free shipping because shipping is really cheap. So anything over $10 or $12 I tried to pick up for a dollar. John Williams, it is not the Star Wars composer. It's the man who is performing the music. 500 years of guitar. I thought this one was super funny. It's sealed legal. At first, I didn't think that was a thumbs up. It looked like something else to me. But it's so funny, as seen on TV. Como lo vio en TV. So, anyways, I thought it was so funny. It's like a little TV band. A dollar. I had never heard of the David Nelson band, but this is a show they did at Red Rocks Park and Amphitheater. And there's none on eBay. But I see the band is pretty popular, and it was in good condition, so I picked it up. Okay, y'all, of all the CDs, I think this one will go for the most. Blue's Clues Birthday, a learning adventure. It's a two-disc set from, uh, when was it? Anyways, oh, 1999. So it is vintage, and it goes for about $30. I probably just said that. Never heard of him, Slade Cleaves, but it's signed to Laura. Um, but anyways, I saw that he has sold CDs, like a lot of CDs. So the fact that it's signed, I just got it. Of all things, Lethal Weapon 2 soundtrack, um, I saw sold for like 12, 14 consistently. So I got it. 
No problem. Look at this. Interesting. And it's going to sell, hopefully. This is sealed. Close Encounters of the God Kind. Mm-hmm. All right. Make me some money, God. Um, thank you. David Huntsinger's New England by Piano. Um, I was told to skip a lot of classical, but if it looked interesting, and see, I know a lot of classical music as a music teacher, so if it looked interesting, I picked it up. All right, let me do the third stack. All right, here we go, third stack, Miss Fairchild Show Band. Thought it looked interesting. I had a good vibe about it, good condition. I liked that little bottle right there, and it's produced by a brewery, and I see that she's actually popular, but she doesn't have anything online. Now, I had heard of Martha Wash, and now I know she sings It's Raining Men. Um, so, yeah, I just I had to pick it up. I don't know if it'll sell well, but for a dollar I wanted it. I just realized I already have this listed, so now I can just do Quantity 2. All right. This is from 2001, Magic Artist Deluxe from Disney. I think it can make about 10 bucks, but I just thought it was really, really cool. Of all things, Bridge Master 2000. The key to better bridge. It sells well, surprisingly. Now, I've sold a Vacation Bible School, or VBS, uh, like Christian Kid Music Production CDs. And so this, I think, will sell well. Sun Rock Tunes. It is a reproducible one, um, and it's sealed, so we'll see. We'll see on all of these. Padre Marcelo Rossi. I scanned it. It looks good. Hopefully it'll sell. Jana Ali Alira Alira totally transformed girl what you transformed from uh Anne Hampton Calloway at last at last someone picked me up from the thrift store David Brake and that damn band spin around y'all see my Ponyo shirt from Studio Ghibli I love the movie Ponyo he says, Ponyo loves ham. All right, so yeah, some little light jazz Christmas. I scanned it, and it looks good. And last but not least, I couldn't find this on eBay. Boon, boom, Rise of a King. It's, oh, Lord have mercy. It is sealed, and I hear rap and hip-hop go well. So who knows? And it says MySpace Music from, like, 2007. So yeah, those are my CDs. So for about $32, hopefully I can turn it into about $250 at least. And it only took an hour of my time, and I actually had fun. All right. Another thing I wanted to say is I spent $112, but I earned that many points. So next time I go, I... um. I get $12 off. So instead of $25 for that San Marcos, I'm going to consider it was 13 and that makes me feel better about it because I basically got money back. Another thing, they had these scratch-offs and I got $2 off. So I could say that's $2 off the Fitz and Floyd grouse. So let me show you these San Marcos blankets. I can't wait for you to see them. <laughs> Alright, here is that first San Marcos blanket. Look how huge it is. I'll get closer to the face. The lighting is not perfect in here. But, for $15, I think that is a steal. Because I think maybe it can bring 80 to 120 Who knows, maybe more. Especially during the winter time in Q4. Q4 is October through December, the last quarter of the year. Where sales are the best. So, love it, love it, love it. Let's see the next one. Alright, and here is that last San Marcos blanket. I love it so much. I love the colors. It's huge. It's in good condition. And I expect to get a lot of profit after a $25 investment. Um, yeah, especially for Q4 in the winter. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Keep digging for treasure, and remember, it's not hoarding if you at least plan on selling some of it. I went to the CD section to scan each one and spend a lot of time 
The CD section, which I normally don't do because I normally spend all my time looking at everything else and then I'm pooped by the time I get there. So come see what I decided to get. What I hand, chip, no.